Hello. Uh, we've got a couple of people there, have we? How you doing? Um, I've been busy on this shoulder plane, as I've been mentioning before. What I've got is my blank all drilled out, ready, so that when I take it apart, I can put it back together again, all nicely aligned. I'm using hardwood dowels for that. They'll just slot in the holes um, to hold it together when I... And I've prepared some cuts in there with the table saw. And I'm just going to finish them off now by hand. It's quite awkward using a table saw on something this small to rip through that thickness safely. So that's why I've left the little piece in the middle there. That makes it a safe operation on the table saw. And just finishing off that on a band saw or by hand uh, makes it uh, lovely and safe. So I'm going to do that now. I'll be using the old Japanese saw. Let's get you somewhere where you can see what's going on. I've got to film this as well because other people want to see it and they're not here. So I'll get set up with the cameras. I guess I'll get better at this as things go along. Do we have any questions yet? To be honest, I can't see any questions on this screen I've got. Don't know whether I can orient it in a way where I can see things. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Hoping I can get some chat up on here in case anyone's saying anything. Should have used the laptop, I think. Okay, so I'm setting up my camera and my um, camcorder because I may be doing an article on this, so I need some decent photographs as well. That perhaps gives you an idea of how long uh, videos actually take to do when you've got all these other things to think about rather than just doing the woodwork itself. Oh, hi Shrenik. Good to see you in the house. Sorry I had to uh, disappear quite early from the, uh, the meeting the other night on Thursday. I guess it went on into the early hours again. Now, can we set you up so you can see what's going on? 2.30? Good grief. Alright, there's the camera. I need to get a decent stand for this camera as well. For my phone, I should say. I don't know whether I ought to mention uh, Shrenik's nickname on the meeting that we use. What do you think, Shrenik? Right, so I'm filming now, so I'll be a little bit quiet. See an answer there, Shrenik. I, I won't mention it, but uh, maybe I will next time. You'll have to join and make sure that I don't. Oops. I'll leave. 
leave that one there because I want to take a photograph of that. But we've got one off already. So let me set up for a photograph. Whilst I'm at it, we can turn off the camera, turn this one on. When I'm taking magazine photos, I don't use the flash, so I have to disable that. And I also use a timer to make sure that there's no judder in the shot. It's on a tripod. If I press the, the shutter release, and it takes the photo immediately, there could be a bit of a shake going on. Okay, so that's set up. Set the shot with my saw in place. And there's a nice shot. What else we got there? Possibly from Trenet. Oh yeah, well, something to do with wood. Uh, why have all the chats suddenly disappeared? Get a remote for the camera. I've got a remote for the camera, shouldn't it? Um, it's just more trouble. And what I, <laughs> I found initially was I was always taking shots and the remote would be on the bench next to what I was taking the shot of. So now I've set it up with either a 2 second or a 12 second timer. Set myself up within that uh, short period of time. It takes a shot and I can just carry on. Certainly for the video camera, a remote would be better. It's supposed to be able to use it with uh, the phone, but it's got very limited capabilities that way. Okay, so I can finish that cut now. If I just check the photo was all right. Yeah, possibly a bit more exposure would help. So I'll just take one more. Yeah, that looks good. So let's finish that cut off. So now we've got three pieces. I just need to clean up uh, the little bit of leftover in there. And then I'll be able to cut out the bed on the middle piece so there'll be a slope to cut off here actually it's that way it's that way around that'll be the bed down there so that will be aligned to the rest of the plane when I glue it up with these two dowels then I have to cut out with the wedges which will be there somewhere and the rest of the body will be held in place by these three dowels and then the whole thing uh, can go together. That glue up will probably be the next live stream. I'm quite busy here today. In fact, in a, about five minutes, I'm running the wife somewhere. So, just probably end up with me getting rid of these bits on here for the time being. And then I'll schedule another live stream, possibly even this afternoon. We'll see how things go. But um, I've given half an hour notice on this one. What I'll try and do is give a bit more than that and uh, possibly come up with a, a regular time to try and do these in the future, which might be more or might be easier for people to follow along with. So I think it's probably quite good to do it on a weekend as well. I don't know what you think about that. If it's a weekend, most people are available to, to drop in almost at the drop of a hat. So uh, what do you think? Weekends? Oh, hi Donald, how are you doing? How, have you got all those dovetails glued up yet? Yeah? Clean.
That's been an awkward one. actually seeing that because I think my camera's the actual lens is a bit high. Tell me whether that's up the right way or whether it's upside down now. I am a Sorry, I have to keep touching my screen to see what you're saying. The Instructables t-shirt, yeah? Yeah, I managed to, to win a couple of Instructables contests and get those. So I'm moving on to a smoother now, just to take a final couple of passes. Ready for glue. Now I was saying this was a bit of a trouble, uh, causing me a bit of trouble, is because it's got little tanks on both sides so it rocks a lot. So what I'm going to do with that is put a couple of, well, I can use these two actually, put those either side like so on the bench and then uh, it should hold it flat whilst I plane this off. Bit of lateral thinking. Almost there. This is giving a little bit of tear out. Shouldn't really matter because that's going to be glued up inside the plane, but we'll clean it up anyway, show you how easy it is with a card scraper. So there we've got the three pieces for the sandwich. Next time I'll either be gluing them up or I'll be cutting out the... Yeah, next time I'll either be gluing those together or cutting out the, um, the iron slot, the wedge slot on the bed and getting it all sorted. Okay, any questions? What wood? Uh, that's beech, uh, traditionally used for, for planes quite often, certainly in, in the UK. Uh, nice and... Hard. It's not particularly stable to be honest, but uh, it's a good local wood that, uh, that's good enough for plain bodies and things like that. For the wedge, I was going to use something different, maybe something with a bit of colour. Uh, I do have some of your favourite wood here, Shrenik, so what do you think? Some of that for the wedge? Glue? Um, I'll probably just use white PVA, it's uh, perfectly strong enough, 
Um, what else was that? <laughs> no, well, not boxwood. I don't think boxwood would be that much of a, a contrast to this. I thought something a bit darker, maybe with a bit, bit of colour, perhaps like the uh, like the t-shirt. Purple heart. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Could be purple heart. Right. Any more questions before I say cheerio? Been fun sharing this with you live. Uh, I must say, it's uh, it's very different from filming, and and then editing before publishing. Very different indeed. And I've just realised as well that I didn't film when I was uh, planing those blanks. So I'm going to have to go back just with a smoother set, extremely fine, and uh, film a bit of that at, a, at an angle so it looks as though I'm actually doing some real work. Too early for Donald. Yep. Yeah. Well, Donald, I may be doing some in the afternoons here, which will be more, more like your breakfast time. Hey, I'll have a coffee when you get up and maybe I'll be doing something. Well, okay, folks, I'll say cheerio now. Uh, so the next one will be either doing the cutout for the wedge or gluing the thing together. Okay, you all have a good day and I'll catch you soon. Cheerio.